In this series, I will be challenging a fellow YouTuber to a GOAT format duel. But this won't be just any GOAT format duel. Each player will spin a wheel that will determine how the decks can be built using only GOAT format era cards. These restrictions range from certain packs to open, to only allowing the use of common cards, and many more. After each player builds a deck, we duel. Who will be the Wheeled Goat of YugiTube? You'll just have to watch the series to find out. All right, guys, welcome back to Wheeled Goat episode 15. We're already on episode 15, which is pretty insane. We have done a little bit of an addition to the wheels and addition by subtraction by basically revamping the entire second wheel because honestly, I didn't like where, where it was. We updated a lot. We also added a lot of your suggestions from the comments. So if you want your comment to become a Wheeled Goat episode or a deck restriction for one of us, me or a guest, make sure you leave a comment down below. I do like to review those on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Ruxin34 every once in a while, and we sometimes add your ideas if I think they're good or if the chat thinks they're good. So we have added a lot of your ideas on wheel one and wheel three and wheel two, we completely revamped and used some ideas from Twitch to update wheel two. So there's a lot of new ideas because we were running a little low on ideas for them. So let's spin this, see what we get. Wheel one, two or three. I kind of want to get uh, wheel two because it's all new now. It doesn't look like we're going to get it, but there are a lot of new ones on wheel three. So I'm a little bit excited to see if we roll something that we just added. We have an option that says only allow one sentence of card text per monster, which is pretty interesting. Must contain blue eyes, shining dragon and blue eyes, ultimate dragon must contain dark sage. So a bunch of like random stuff like that. Uh, there's also only monsters that are fusion monsters for goat format monsters, which could be pretty interesting and a weird way to build your deck. So there's a lot of random stuff, a lot of janky stuff. Let's see what we roll. There's also some of the old stuff that we never used. Here we go. Let's try to get something fun because I got to build this deck right now. Oh, no, not that. Not that. Not that. Please, 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 please. Yes. Thank you. Not the ultras. OK, Woo, that could have been bad. All oh, the fusion materials. OK, this was a suggestion from the YouTube comments. So shout out to the YouTube comments. If you guys want to be here when we are making new ideas, when we're building decks and when we are testing, go check out my Twitch, twitch.tv slash Ruxin34. We will be doing Master Duel Mondays every Monday, so go check that out so you guys can be there. Let's get to building. Right, I'm TGS Anime and I am appearing on Ruxin's channel. We are playing Wheeled Goat. I will spin this wheel and the result will be a goat format specific deck that I will need to build. I, believe it or not, didn't know what goat was for the, the longest period. I knew it referred to an old period of Yu-Gi-Oh, but I always thought it was like the greatest of all time. This is what people consider the best of Yu-Gi-Oh. Which I guess it kind of is as well, but I didn't know it meant scapegoats when scapegoats were popular. I had no idea. So, without further ado, uh, let's give it a spin. Here we go. Oh, oh. Must contain three. Nice and hot. Oh, damn, the spicy meat. Yeah, boy. Why? Why would you do this to me? This is like the hardest thing in the world. Must contain three petite moth, and either larvae moth, great moth, or perfectly ultimate great moth. Singleton spell or trap. Singleton spell and trap means just only one spells and traps each. Oh my god. <laughs> That's impossible! It, isn't it technically the worst card, or the, the most difficult card in the entire game to summon perfectly ultimate great moth? It takes like six turns! But if we pull it off, we could be the greatest insect duelist ever. I'm invested. Let's go for it. All right, guys, this is the deck we've come up with for fusions, fusion materials from fusion goat monsters. Kind of a, kind of confusing when you say it out loud, but basically all these monsters had to be listed on an old school fusion material and they all are. It was pretty easy because we picked XYZs. So, you know, the, uh, the XY, the XYZ dragon cannon itself, pretty easy because you get the X, the Y and the Z. So we're going to play three of those. We're going to try to, you know, do a little fun stuff with like a combination attack. We have frontline base. We could have played more of these, but there's only like six union monsters. So it's like kind of, I don't know, it's kind of bricky if you don't draw them. We're also playing Clayman just as a big defender. We're playing Sangen because obviously he's really good. He's on Sandwich, the best card ever. Two Spirit Reaper. Yeah, it's Spirit Reaper. It's really annoying, but it's just like, it's a really good card. We got to play. I didn't play three. Had a little mercy. We played two. Zombira, I think is listed on Last Warrior. So pretty big monster, pretty strong. Then we have a Blowback Dragon, which is on the Gatling Dragon. So this card's really good if we can get it out. It's a free pop if it can roll, you know, flip the right uh, two out of three heads. Then we have basically the same spell trap kind of stuff going on, except we added the frontline base. We had limiter removal, which is, you know, good for the machines. Um, not good with Zombira, Sangin, and Clayman, but that's okay. We're playing nine. 10 machines so it should work out there we also have a combination attack we want to uncombine it's kind of like defusion for unions and then some other generic stuff 
Overall, I think the deck is actually pretty decent for what we got. This was on the jank wheel and maybe it should have been on the regular wheel because the deck's not that bad, but it's a lot worse than the wheel one. So it's kind of in the middle there. We'll see what uh, we're playing against. Depends if it's one of those anime decks, it could be pretty rough for the opponent. Okay, a perfectly ultimate great muff deck. So first things first, I get free petite muff. Lucky me. <laughs> so we get three of these. Petite, petite, petite. We absolutely have to have free cocoon of evolution. To be fair, we only need one of each of these to pop up. And then the other ones can either be fodder or a decent defensive line. That's not too bad. And obviously I had the choice between Great Moth, perfectly ultimate Great Moth and Lave Moth. Uh, Lave Moth is garbage. What is it? 500 attack, 400 defense. So yeah, but I get it only after just like it's sitting for two turns. But we're better than that. We can go further to Great Moth. Four turns and I get this? No. We can go even further. One of the most difficult cards in the entire game to summon. Let's put two of those in the deck because three would be way too much. So yeah, um, Perfectly Ultimate Great Moth is going to cost me so much. Like, you have to get Petite Moth on the field, which is terrible stats. And then you need to equip it with Cocoon of Evolution, which gives it worse attack stats, but gives it 2,000 defense. But it's in attack mode. So then you have to wait a turn to get it into defense. And then you got to wait six turns. And then you get Perfectly Ultimate Great Moth with 3,500 attack, which is cool but no effect. My goodness. So um, at this point, we're pretty much role playing Weevil Underwood. So we might as well put in. That is the perfectly ultimate deck. Uh, it is not a perfectly ultimate deck, but perfectly ultimate Great Moth is in the deck. So this is what we're playing with. I don't think we'll win a single duel. But if I manage to summon one perfectly ultimate Great Moth, I think that's a moral victory. And I think if I pull off any of my uh, Insect Barrier Parasite Parasite plays or Insect Barrier DNA Surgery play, I'll also call that a success. So, yeah, let's... Uh... <laughs> Let's see how this does, shall we? Welcome back to Wheeled Goat episode 15, and we have the one and only TGS Anime. Welcome to the channel, and how are you doing? I'm all right, thank you. Roxanne, thank you very much for having me as well. Uh, I'm glad that you're doing well, because as you can tell, I can barely talk. So yes, this is going to be it. interesting, because, you know, when I play something epic, I'm going to be 50% as excited as normal. So this, we'll, we'll see how this goes. Is this foreshadowing? Are you playing a virus deck? Is that what this is? <laughs> yeah, I'm going I'm to play some virus. And no, may, maybe I've been practicing my weevil voice a little bit too much. I don't know. Um, we'll have to find out. So we have a best of five today. So let's get right to it. We have a lot of duels to get to, potentially, if I don't get swept. So <laughs> let's start this thing up. How confident are you feeling with your deck going in? I feel pretty good about it. Also, remember, if you want to go first, pick second, because it's go format. If I want to go... Wait, what? Wait, what does that mean? If I want to go first, pick second? You want to, yeah, pick second. Yeah, yeah, pick second. So I'll give you the card. Okay. Oh, so, yeah. I get, so that I get an extra draw. Right, right, oh. yeah. So we're playing... Yeah, we're playing old school. So we're That's going so back cool. to the old rules. So, fun fact, this is my first proper goat match the only one i've had that's close was the one that when mastodon did an event kind of similar to it yeah yeah well that's good um this will probably be nothing like a real goat match because <laughs> we got some crazy i'm guessing you got something crazy but i'll pass it to you obviously you can't attack because this is a turn one well because master my my role on the wheel was uh <clears throat> interesting so i i okay. don't know how good it's gonna be but we'll find out <laughs> okay so uh, i'm gonna start with a upstart goblin we get a thousand life points. It's a nice little gift. I, for you. I like life points, sure. Uh, and then I am gonna set one card face down and end my okay. turn. That'll do me. All right. I nice like these simple. sleeves. I like. You got a nice swampy uh, area over there. Yeah. Well, you said something about having a, like a weevil voice or something earlier, and <laughs> swampy fields. So I don't know what's gonna. Be oh revealed. no! Did you get? You didn't get the petite moth one, did you? I did get the petite moth. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> hey, that, hey. moth will oh, wow. be really bad. Okay, I, I got the choice. So it was Larvae Moth, Great Moth, or Perfectly Ultimate Great Moth. Yeah. And I decided okay. to go all in. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, well, let me see what you've said here. Oh, no way. <laughs> oh, yeah, a little wide dragon head. Here we go. Let's attack this thing. Oh, ah, you fool. Oh, you've triggered my I've... monster's ability. Oh. I'm going to summon an earth monster from my deck. 
This was a big mistake. Mm. I thought you maybe set Petit Moth in defense position. I think it's going to have to be. Um, It is. Are you summoning the Cocoon of Evolution? I am not summoning. <laughs> the problem is I don't oh. have it just yet, but there's my... My, my ace monster, Petite Moth, it's on the field. The small but deadly creature is better off avoided. Oh my goodness. On the <laughs> day of the Petite the Moth. Deck. On the day of the Petite Moth mat release too. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> okay. I'm going to have to... Oh, wow. What what have you got cooked up over there? Let's mm. just... Again, let's just settle down. Just to remind, this is my first GOAT match. So I, <laughs> I did research, like, what is good in GOAT format? I learned a lot about the ban list, like what's at one, two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Well, I don't I don't know what's good regarding Petite Moth. We'll, we'll find out. One thing I do know is you will know how to play this. So you'll pick good monsters. So I'll take your good monsters. Oh, I think that's the no. Move. Yeah, okay, sure. Yeah, Snatch Deal. That's and unfortunate. When I was really nice to give you life points earlier was actually so <gasps> I can get more attack. Oh my goodness, you have 3,000 attack. This is a new monster I only learned about today. This is Prickly F the Prickle Fairy. <laughs> Wait, how, is this goat format? <laughs> I, I think so. I, I think that was a goat format monster. <laughs> what set is this from? I have is no idea. From Crossroads of Chaos? I, is that not goat? No! Is it not? <laughs> no. Go format it in 2005. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, well, this is going to be interesting. Well, okay, I need to read this thing. Your opponent cannot attack insect monsters. To be fair, it only protects my petite moths, so... <laughs> okay, well, hey, look, you have petite moth. Huh? Maybe we'll cut you some slack here. Okay. Uh, <laughs> if you spot any other non-goat uh, goat cards, let me know. Okay, this says... Change this monster to defense position. Okay. Um, you know, I actually don't want you to do any damage, so <sighs> let me just take that back. Okay. Now your life points. Oh, it goes off mine? <laughs> oh, of course it does. <laughs> oh, uh, beautiful. <laughs> That's a sweet megamorph right there. Sweet <laughs> <Free> megamorph. <laughs> okay. Well, the tables have turned. <laughs> The tables have turned. My white dragon head with 3,000 attack. It was all part of my plan for you to <laughs> play Megamorph with your less life points. Okay. I want to make sure that I get in with my white dragon head. Uh, I can't let you do that. I'm sorry. Oh, no. My um, the Raigeki break. Sacrifice my Parasite Parasite. No. Parasite Parasite is like a Duel Links deck. It is. No, well, when I put it in the deck, I thought... Oh, no. <laughs> this is actually not that good because now I have no, I have less life points, so it actually is bad. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's less damage. It's kind of bad, but I do have another monster. Oh, no. My Z Metal Tank. You're the not going to combine is, them, are you? Combine them together? You know, I don't think I am. I think I'm going to do a little bit of this. We're going to attack this guy. Oh, I can only attack this. Dang it, misplay. My, my illegal <laughs> to be fair, if I'm role-playing as Weevil, I've snuck a future card into my deck. That's very on-brand for Weevil. That's actually what I wanted because then, uh, yeah, that's true. That is true. <laughs> this is totally perfect. I actually want White Dragon Head in defense because he has no attack. So it was perfect. Definitely what I meant to do. Okay, you know what? Um, now could be the time. Um, you know what? Now. Nah. Let's just, I think we're fine with what we have right now. You've got two cards over there, Weevil. Mm. What other illegal cards do you have today, Weevil? We'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> the Prickle Fairy. I'll set one card face down and end my turn. Okay, all right. My Z Metal Tank's too powerful for that set card. Okay. Okay, let's see. You've got... One set card. I really, I could go off what goat is, but then you've already played a card that's not from goat. So who knows what's down there? That could be anything. <laughs> <laughs> it could be anything, literally. Okay. What does this do exactly? Okay, this 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 tank that I can make is not super helpful in this situation. Though it does do more damage. I don't know so the, that's... the mini tanks very well. The, apart from XYZ and VW. Actually, you wouldn't have VW, would you? I came out after. No. Yeah, that... That actually, elemental energy, maybe? That might have been after. It's really close. That one's really close. 
Okay, let's just, uh, let's see what you have settled down here. Let's see what you've set. Big reveal. Is this a GOAT format card? It is definitely <laughs> a GOAT oh, format card, yes. Thank goodness. Now you gotta play okay, the guessing that, game. That's a GOAT format card. That's from Pharaonic Guardian, I believe. Ah. Okay. You have one card in your hand. You didn't put a monster down, so it's probably not a monster unless it's unless it's the perfectly ultimate great moth, which would be no. interesting. <laughs> um, ooh, you didn't set it either, so it it could really could be a lot of things. You know, you are ordeal of a traveler though, so maybe you were just baiting me. You know what? The mind games, I love it. It's it's there's a lot of mind games going on. I have a feeling that it was a spell card that's my call it wants the ball dang it i should have i should have known okay okay so you have a giant brick in your hand I, a huge brick <laughs> okay well in that case you know what let me just uh let me just make a big guy because that'll be hard to deal with let me just make a big guy why is that dra tank dragon yeah okay he's pretty big Let's set a couple cards. All right, let's okay. see what you got. Okay, you have perfectly ultimate great moth. Gotta be careful setting monsters face down. Yes, he has that pretty strong ability hmm. for this time. I'm gonna make you play the guessing <laughs> game, I think. Oh my gosh. Gonna make me play the guessing game, huh? I am. Oh my God. <laughs> oh gosh, so we have at least a 50-50. If you drew another monster, it's 100% chance. True. If you didn't, then this would be pretty bad. Oh man, is it worth it? Yeah, it's is worth it. Is it worth 2,100 life points? 50-50. Well, no, it's not actually, because then there's, there's th three possible cards it could be. Oh yeah, no, it's yeah. not 50-50, ignore me. You know what? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing it, I'm too scared. <laughs> okay. This is going to be a little bit of a slow duel, I think, for the next couple of turns. I didn't oh expect boy. to uh, to brick so early. Oh boy! Oh my gosh! Oh my goodness! It's just getting more and more likely that I can't attack right now. Yeah. I mean, if you'd have attacked last one, it's twenty-one. Another twenty-one now. You took over my half life points. Yeah. Maybe I have a lot of it. life points right now. You know what? I I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I'm just going to be patient. I'm going to be patient. Come on, big draw. Okay. Just set a nice card face down. That'll be fine. Yeah. I'll do it next turn. Okay. Oh my goodness. Building resources. From one to four. I don't like this. Okay, let's draw. Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. Now I can... Now I can at least bring out this guy. He's not as risky. Okay. All right, let's try to do a little battling. I'll use my Ordeal of a Traveler. Do I have a monster okay, well, spell or trap? Well, I know that you have a monster, so I'm going to call that. Well done. Hey, you, you got the right card. <laughs> All right. Very nice. I'll take that. Okay, so we've done a little bit of damage. And that will be fine for now. You've got to put something on the field eventually. That's true. And I think the time is now. I'm going to use Mystical Space Typhoon <sighs> on... This card. Not my widespread ruin. Oh, that's good because I'm going to normal summon giant rat. The giant rat. Okay. I'm going to, going to crash into me, get the petite moth. I am. Interesting. And then I'm going to somehow keep that petite moth alive for six turns. Oh, yeah, that's true. Okay. Yeah, I'll let you take a hundred. That, I mean, that's that'll add up. hundred life points, 60 more of those and you're dead. There it is. Has to be the greatest attack. card in Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> the Cocoon of Evolution yes, has been activated. Cocoon to Petite, petite Moth. Now, it doesn't, oh, it, it makes turns. him 2K. It's in attack though, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> hey, um, you have ordeal of a traveler, okay. <laughs> now, what's the safer play? I'm oh just gonna goodness. end there. I'm leaving <laughs> a little bit of chance play. here. Okay. A little bit to chance. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, that that's nice. That'll help me get through ordeal of a traveler. Okay. Sangin. 
All right, Sangin, do your thing. Hit through on this moth. I'm guessing you're going to declare a monster. Um, yeah, I'll give myself a 50-50. Come on. No! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> that moth has betrayed you so many oh, times. <laughs> it's At betrayed you it many times. Defense, like, you'd have had to have risked the, uh, the fusion monster. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of unfortunate. Ordeal again. Well, you know what I'm calling. Oh, my. Why? <laughs> Why? It's, letting me, it's, it's literally cost me the duel. Uh, you know what? I think this is an anime moment where Weevil, he gets uh, punished for cheating. <laughs> <laughs> More accurate. Though unintentional in this case. Um, okay. Okay. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's, let's see what you got. Now, I do it's have gonna... actual strong monsters in the deck to help me out. I haven't drawn one yet. I figure sure you've got something in there. I mean, you got an insect knight or something? I mean, he's pretty big. I don't. You don't have insect knight. Okay. Oh. All right. No insect knight. All right. You're setting a card. And the... Man, this ordeal of a traveler. Perfectly ultimate great moth. <sighs> Look, you, you put the petite moth against me. It will never betray me. That's the thing. <laughs> okay. Um, That plus... That doesn't quite do it. You know what? Just, uh, you know, I probably should have gone to defense mode for this. Just in case you have a, a, uh, a mirror force right there. <laughs> well, it's not a mirror force, but this will increase Jarvis. my chances of survival. Because it lets me draw um, one new card. Unless it's a monster card. And then I forgot to click Ordeal of a Traveler, I think. Unless it's going to let me activate it again. It should. Oh, it's not going to let you. <laughs> a thousand damage. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> it's no big deal. It's Sangin. It's Sangin. It's fine. Now, will you... Will I get the correct guess here? Monster card. Tribe you infecting have got virus. Every single one right. And we are entering the damage step, and I will activate limiter removal. No! Doubling <laughs> my attack, Weevil. <laughs> well done. <sighs> well, Next, I was going to summon that tribe infecting virus, declare machine. Oh, wow. I was that would have actually. That ultimate great moth in the bin. Yeah, that would have been bad, actually. That would have been really bad. <laughs> Luckily for me, you know what? This actually makes sense because you are TGS anime. You have an anime deck, so it makes perfect sense. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to have a yeah. Kyber over there. Well, we never had a Kyber versus Weevil duel. Now we kind of do. Uh, yeah, it's kind, of, it's kind of sad. I mean, that's something that definitely should happen. I feel like Kyber might have, like, stepped on him or something after the game. <laughs> Could have been crazy. So, All right, you I get lost... to go first. Yeah, please. Yeah. I'll go first. Yep. Yes, I will. Okay, you want it anyway. So Such a big second. second. Okay. Correct. Yeah, um, good. well, what, now that you asked me earlier how I felt about my deck, knowing that you have the Petite Moth deck, feel pretty good. <laughs> feel what, pretty good. What, what is your theme? What did you get on the, the wheel spin? What did I get again? <laughs> what exactly was it? I know what I'm playing, but... Un Union Monster deck or something. Well, I'm playing Union Monsters. It was, oh no, it has to be listed on a GOAT format fusion card. So, oh. I'm, obviously those are all, you know, fusions, so you can just use all the materials. All right. So... There actually are some pretty good cards, um, like Sangin's on Sandwich. You know, there's some other good ones that you haven't seen yet, so I won't say them, but... But yeah, it's pretty good. And so uh, yeah, every you... Every monster you, in your deck is a fusion material. It's a fusion material for a GOAT format card, so a 2005 or earlier fusion. So it's okay. like, there's some pretty weird ones. Um, for the most part, it turned out fairly decent, and this definitely helps, Pot of Greed. Oh, no way. <laughs> <That'll> <laughs> pretty good card. That's why I don't. That's why I don't have pot of greed. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, I unfortunately have turned in a lot of uh, no, like you know standard current cards, you know, for UR Dust, so I could make go for Matt and Edison decks. <laughs> <laughs> um, definitely, probably not the play. But okay, what are you? You're setting cards. Could be a cocoon. Could be. Could be you a giant rat. That's what it was last time. You know, I'm just going to do this and that and just hang out okay so this is something i learned that i didn't know uh parasite parasite has to be flipped summoned to get its effect off it can't be attacked into and then shuffled into the opponent's deck really yeah i learned that so if i had attacked it while set face down it wouldn't have worked no it because it was destroyed grave. that's so bad <laughs> it is really bad i you didn't need, know that you when need I put the it dueling the skill the <laughs> dueling skill to put it in there okay we're gonna shift into Breaker. Oh, that, that's go. That's go legal. Nice. Uh, can use break effects. Limited to one as well, isn't it? 
Yes, yes, uh, it is. Pop your back row. Probably That's unfortunate. My, stop oh. popping my widespread ruin, please. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I didn't attack now. Um, I will attack, though. What's the highest defense? Um, XYZ monster. They're not that high, but then you got other stuff in there. Is there a there high is a defense? 1600. Why Dragonhead 1600? There is. Let's find out then. It's not why Dragon Head. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, I could grab Parasite, Parasite. Would that avoid the effect? Oh, I don't know. No, I think you have to draw it. Let me check. Add it to your deck by its effect. Draw this card. Yeah, it says draw this card. I could avoid it, but I have AK life points, so I'm not too worried about it. <laughs> okay. Do you really care uh, about your monsters being insects? What harm could that do? That Wait, you know what? I didn't even think about that. Thanks for mentioning that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's actually the good part. <laughs> Uh, I could just avoid that issue. That wouldn't be the worst thing. Um, you know what? You know what? Just for the just for the heck of it, I'm gonna I'm gonna add it. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna so, play around it. I will tell you, there is a insect barrier in my deck. Which yeah, I I remember because somebody just played that against me a couple weeks ago, and that was really annoying. So <laughs> I should probably avoid that yeah. happening. Okay, let's see. Do you have another crazy set ordeal? Oh, interesting. Either way, I'm just going to settle down a little bit. Okay. It's a completely different one to the last duel. I'm more on the offensive this time. Yeah, I'm, I'm not feeling as good as last time when you were summoning Petite Moth in attack mode. Okay, you have your own Sangin. This is feeling a little bit stronger. Uh, Breaker, attack his face down. Ah, Aha! Clayman. <laughs> my secret weapon, Elemental Hero Clayman. Great card. Mm, he is definitely on a fusion, that's for sure. Yes, it is. Okay. How, how savvy are you with the anime uh, of Yu-Gi-Oh? Um, definitely not as much as you. <laughs> I have watched um, the three dubbed seasons. I haven't seen the fourth season GX. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's, it's so good. I've seen good ending. I would recommend. Yeah, I've heard it's good. I just never watch sub just because it's harder because you have to like watch the screen, you know, what read and stuff. Yeah. Um, you know, so I'm a noob, but uh, I really do need to watch it because like I heard the in the four seasons really good. So at some point I will do that. Yeah. Oh man, you have Sengen and Breaker. I've got my Jade and Yuki in defense mode. I don't really have a great card to, to set here. You could put that parasite parasite. You know, I could do that. That would be fun. Let me just let me just set that real quick. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm gonna set one card. It's a bit weird how the it keeps the sleeve when you take the card. It, it like, is I really weird. I absolutely know where it is. Yeah, it's very weird. I didn't know I was gonna do that. <laughs> so, if I attack Parasite, Parasite, will that get shuffled into my deck? That's I what I want to know. Free special summon from this. So why did I set I... that trap before I attacked? I don't know what's going to happen here. It okay. Would, I think it would have been shuffled into the deck, I think. That I would have lose. been that would have been hilarious. <laughs> if it had just gone in your deck. The problem is you probably want all your stuff to be insects, so it wouldn't have mattered. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. Not sure how I feel about this. We don't have much to do right now. So we are going to chill. Hmm, I am gonna risk it. I'm gonna use my Megamorph. Oh. I'm equip it to my Breaker. I oh. think I'm gonna get punished for this, but we'll find out. This Megamorph scares me. Uh, I am going to save my Clay Man. Nice. I'm doing that with my bird card. Insects do not like birds. They do not. <laughs> you know why this deck is actually on theme for me at the moment? Um, I've actually got some ants in my kitchen I keep finding. And they're doing, <laughs> they're doing my head in. So this is kind of thematically perfect for me at the moment. The, 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 they're like mini petite moths. They're just, they're, they're just yeah. ants instead. They're just walking around your kitchen. Okay, well, uh, I kind of want to make you deal with that Megamorph again. <laughs> oh, <laughs> not again. Um... Go for it. Okay. All right, let's... Uh, I'm going to make you do something. You've got to got you gotta have something back there. Well, if he, or deal with a traveler would be, would be pretty bad. Right here. <laughs> hmm. You could return it to your own hand. It would get rid of Megamorph, though, so there's that. Sangan dies. 
Okay, okay yeah. that's not the worst thing for you. I'll take my petite moth. Okay, I'm gonna rip the, the petite moth from your hand. It's gonna be very painful. Oh, I or am think I? You will. Oh, the mirror force. I'm okay. Using it now. That is a goat card for sure. Okay, that's okay. I outed the breaker in a very convoluted way that also gave you a card, so it's not great. Um, okay, Clayman, you do your thing. Come on, big draw, big draw. That's okay. This is like Jaded and Kaiba versus Weevil. It's like a, <laughs> a fusion. I fuse them together. I will summon a Petite Moth. The Petite Moth in attack mode. Okay. And I will equip it with the Cocoon of Evolution. Okay, we're back to this. That makes sense. And my Petite Moth will go into hibernation now for just a couple turns. A couple. Turn. Okay. Ooh, Never mind. Let's see what you're going to do. All right, let's try a little bit of this. Oh. Clayman, you will get rid of this petite moth unless... That's fine. Okay. Before you declare an attack... Ring of there. Destruction. Okay. All right, all right. Well played, well played. All right, let's... This could be... Could get dicey. He's going to be in defense. He's going to be able to summon the big card. Okay, let's set one more card. I will consider one perfectly ultimate great moth summoned a win. That would be, yeah, if you get that off, that's impressive because six turns is pretty wild. <laughs> it's a long time. In GOAT, it's a little bit easier, but not that much easier. <laughs> but not that much. Okay. Mm. Should we have two on the go? Two. The <laughs> that's interesting. There is absolutely no way you have a monster with less than 300 defense but who knows right God. <laughs> <laughs> that was silly okay got a little aggressive i know he's better off avoided but you should probably not attack with him <laughs> yeah, <no. laughs> clayman returns i will just end my turn there just equip a second cocoon of evolution you won't <laughs> i have that ability not to spoil what's in my hand but i think petite moth might die unless my face down is good enough to keep me alive. Okay, Petit Moth, um, your, your Mirror Force is gone. So mm. we are going to Oof. do this. X Head Cannon. Haven't seen him yet. Um, I don't even know why I went to it. Oh, I guess. It, yeah, yeah. No, that's fine. That's fine. Let's let's do this. Oh, you got make another you the removal. Is this a... No, no, they do not. I just want to make sure we got rid of that one. Okay. okay. You know what? This is... I think this is fine. Yeah, this is fine. What okay, what turn are we on? We're on turn two. Okay, you got four turns to go. <sighs> okay. 800. I'm going to use Call of the Haunted to bring oh. back a monster from my grave. I'm going to bring back my Breaker. Breaker the Magical Warrior. Okay. I will use Breaker to attack and destroy. I'm going to throw a Clayman. Okay. And That's I'll fine. Two. Set one card face down. And Don't like setting turn. cards. Okay, let's see. Interesting. Okay, you've played Mirror Force, played Rod. You've got one set. What could it be? Let's see if it can stop my Zombira of the Dark. Ooh, I used to love that card. The artwork's so cool. He has 2100 attacks, so. But he gets weaker. Well, he does get weaker. Let's uh, Let's try to take out your breaker first. That is successful. Okay, will you save the petite moth? No. <laughs> oh, it's a bluff! It's a bluff! Oh my goodness. R.I.P. Petite moth, that's such a good run. How many more petite moths have I got left? One more left in the deck. One more. You could still you be done six more turns. Petite moth. You could have called the haunted. <laughs> could have. That would have been a great play. You could have had a 300 attack. Well, this would have saved me. Um, I will play... Oh, it's such a waste. What if I get that other card? Uh, I'm going to play Heavy Storm. Oh! Because if I, I get Cocoon of Evolution on the field again, I can't risk wiping it. You know what? I'll, I'll power up my Zombira again. Smart. I will power it up. Go for it. Okay. Heavy Storm. Ouch. Shouldn't have set that other card. That's fine. Oof, Torrential. I'll set... Torrential Tribute didn't... Okay. Okay, let's see. Oh, perfect timing for that. Probably a giant rat. That's what I'm guessing. 
But first, Chainable. Well done. No, oh, Book of Moon. Wouldn't have done much. Okay, what do you have set? You have, yeah, you might, you probably have another Cocoon. So let's go Zombira. I have to say, bouncing that back to your hand was actually really, really clever. Well that done. Actually, yeah, that, that actually mattered because you have 2k move. defense. Because otherwise I'd have 19. I wouldn't be yes. able to get over him right now. Okay. Okay. That's not too bad. Okay. Let's just, let's just move on. I'm wondering if you, ha your big monster has been breaker so far. I wonder if you have anything really big. I'll set this face you do down. have tribe. So if, I mean, if you ever draw that, that's going to be annoying. Yeah. That's going to be pretty good. Okay. Let's see what else we have. Okay. So another set giant rat would keep you alive. Let's put another monster on the field. Oof. Wait, X and Y make me what? This cannot destroy a, a monster, unfortunately. Okay. Let's try to get over with 19. It's no. a 2K. You had both of them. Okay, <laughs> all three of them. So uh, that's me locked out of um, Ultimate Great Moths now, I think. Unless you want to compulse it back to my hand. But we've used it. Never <laughs> well, mind. I've used my one compulse, so I don't, I don't have it. Um, okay. Okay. All right. The I really need lives. the other aspect of my deck now. Oh, uh, we'll get there. Set that face down. In phase. Okay. All right, we're finally going to do what this deck was made to do. Oh, here we go. We're going to equip Y Dragon Head to X Head Cannon for a 400 attack boost. <laughs> we're going to summon Zombira number two. Nice. Okay, so, um, all right, you can go there. Um, well done. We're gonna both, you're going to go there. Let's... Giant rat, okay, it lives. Yeah, special summon. I'm just losing attack over here. What will he summon? Will it be Petite Moth or will it be another rat? It will be... Oh, it has to go into a tap position. Mm -hmm. It'll be giant rat. Tank another the damage, giant rat. sponge it up. The question is, should I even attack? Probably not, but I'm going to. <laughs> okay, let's see what you'll bring out. I'll bring out my illegal card. The Prickle Fairy. The prickle Fairy. Okay, it's illegal. Only one illegal card so far. I mean, that's not too bad. No, that's, I think I'm, that's pretty fair. I wonder how this one got through. I, I'm sure I looked at a list. Is it like legal in Japan goat for, format, if that's a thing? <laughs> I, I, I don't know, honestly. I mean, Crossroads of Chaos is definitely, I mean, it's three years later, so it's not like that much newer or anything. Yeah, and put like um, a Diabell Star or Kashtira Fenrir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, not like, legal? Whoa! Well, yeah, well, I was I was testing for this episode with some viewers, and somebody actually played a pendulum deck. So <laughs> we were like, "Wait a second, what's going on here?" <laughs> I remember okay. that from the uh, the original anime. Yeah, when they when they whipped out pendulum in the yeah, original yeah. series, that was pretty crazy. Okay, so you still have eight. Man, you just you're just hanging on. I'm I'm gonna play another. Mo Wait, I could power him up again. He could double union. That's actually kind of sick. Okay. Well, let's um, let's do this first to take out the prickle fairy. Prickle fairy's gum. Well done. Let can we can we get through? No. <laughs> oh my gosh! It's unreal. Okay. Okay. Well. To be fair, prickle fairy's second effect. I didn't think it was very good, but it's made Zombria more attackable yeah. now. Yeah, it's a, it's actually pretty decent. You know, switch him to defense. A lot of time in goat, they do have pretty small defense if they have larger attack. Gambling on this. I play Upstart Goblin. You've already got okay. a big lead, but... You probably need to do that anyway, yeah. Yeah. I'll set that face down. Oh, no. And end my turn. <laughs> okay. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can take this thing out. Oh, okay. There we go. Okay, well, we're going to do this. Let's see what that set is. It was... Bottomless Trap Hole. Bottomless Trap Hole. Okay, just to be careful. Okay. So now I Ooh. will you lost equip one of your unions. you. I lost one of my unions, but I will regain one, and I will summon another one. So this should be, as long as, as, long as you're not playing Karibo. No. Not playing the, the goat no. hand trap. Okay, let's see, X head. X head, well done. X head, oh. well done. <laughs> okay, well, hey, it's not over yet. That's true. We got, 
You got one more chance. I do, I do. You got you got closer to that game. You're definitely playing behind the eight ball here. So, you know, you got to summon the perfect ultimate great moth. So it's kind of tough. There's a couple cards I still haven't drawn yet. Hopefully they'll, uh, yeah. they'll appear now. You're going first again. Let's see. Yes, please. If you can keep that cocoon on the field. All right, big draw. slash petite moth. It's a nice hand. And I get one more card. I will say this might be that this might be a good hand for you. <laughs> <laughs> I draw. Nice. <laughs> I've had this card every game so far. I will set one, two. Because mm. <laughs> I know in Goat, you're not supposed to overcommit. Like, you know, if you've got a lot of back row. I'm not saying that I do, yeah. but it's, yeah. it's scary to overcommit. Yeah, because Heavy Storm, I mean, yeah. that's, that's pretty rough. Yeah. yeah. I'll set one. <laughs> And yeah, that's probably that's probably a good play. That's probably a good play. Okay, let's see what I can draw. I need to draw something. <laughs> okay. Um, you know, luckily Ooh. for you, that's all I got. This is a first. Okay, this is my moment. <laughs> this is your moment. I will also try and get rid of that back row. Some of my magical. Okay. Oh man, okay, yeah. I will use its effect. Take its one. Character. Breaker's been been pretty painful. Yeah. Um, I am gonna I chain him. Or, okay. Widespread twice. Oh, okay, well done. Yeah, yeah. At least I can sort of use this. I mean, I'll I'll bounce that back. Okay. At least make that be off the field. Yeah, it's been, it's been cooking my widespread. I haven't loved it. Already taking damage. Yeah. Not a great start. That's good damage for me. I'll set one more card face down. Okay. Two more cards face down, actually. Okay. Three cards. That'll do me. You got Breaker. You got a set monster. And you got two other cards. Let's see. What can we draw right here? <laughs> I forgot this was even in the deck. Um, wow. Okay. That's really that's really all we got, huh? Let's do a little bit of that. Okay. Okay. How, how many monsters have you got in your deck? Do you know? Um, 19. 19. I've got 20. Yeah, I usually play 20, but it just kind of worked out with 19. Because I did want to play a couple of Union spell traps, so I ended up, you know, it, cutting a, a couple monsters to make those in there. Like the limiter thing and stuff. Okay, Giant you've got two. Yeah, I don't think I can take oh. all this damage. That's that's a bit much. Mm, it's fine. Okay. I'll move my Breaker back into attack. Yep. Yeah. And back to you. I'm not liking the way this is going right now. Not at all. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. All right. This is, uh, I am going to do this and see what you have. I'd rather you not. <laughs> oh, okay. Half the judgment. Yeah, that's reasonable. Yep. That's reasonable. You got solemn judgment. Nice. No. Okay. Well, I am going to now activate this. So you can't solemn this, thankfully. Um, this is, uh, speaking of setting back row. Woofed. <laughs> I will draw a monster eventually. <laughs> Question about uh, Swords of Rain Light. You know, when it first came out, did it always become a continuous spell kind of thing? Or did before you activate it, it went to the grave and it like lingered on the field? Or was that an error? I think that it was continuous from the beginning. I believe it was. Or was it? I can't remember. I think so. I saw it the other day, and I was like, oh, it's this normal spell. It goes away. And I was like, oh, no, it doesn't. It stays in the field. Oh, it does say know, normal just... spell. Wait. I don't know, then. I'm going to have to look at, like, an original version of it and see. Do I be cheeky? With... Wait, I can't be cheeky. What am I talking about? Sort of... We're just talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> can't go on the offensive. I thought Ignore me. You're going to pop my swords or something? No, 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 no. Okay, I was that's, go that's good for me. I'm glad I noticed at the last possible minute. That would have been embarrassing. Yeah, um, I've done this. I've done something. Oh, wow. Big draw. It's, it's good to see you, set card. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Thank you, Swords, for keeping me alive. Hmm. you got a lot of cards over there. I don't like it. I'll set another card face down. This is too many cards. I'm going to tell you that. Yeah. You know what's really sad? You can't... Not saying I have it in my hand... But if I did have perfectly ultimate great moth in my hand, you can't normal you can't summon tribute. it or set it or even special summon it without first doing it regular way of being summoned. It's, it's so stupid. It is. <laughs> <laughs> they really did, made it. They did, really did Weevil dirty. Did you put this in the uh, the oh. wheel, or did one of your viewers put it in? Who do I have to blame? So it was. So yeah, I put it in. Well, let's say 
yesterday we updated this wheel because there was only five options left. Yeah. And we started putting in a few car a few of them like this, where it was like, put that in your deck or something like that. Um, I think technically this was me. Um, I was honestly hoping we would get it. So yeah, it's kind of my fault. So I apologize. <laughs> I'm going to bring out, I did draw this guy, Ooh. my tribute summon, blow back dragon and activate Great his effect. Uh, you have so many options here to choose from. Oh, it's one card as well. That's yeah, it's, it's one card. You know what? I will, I mean, I'm going to go for this back room. Let's, let's, ri on. let's flip two. Yes. Oh, luck is not on my side. Okay, do I want to attack? It's a little dangerous. But you know what? I'm feeling a little risky right now. I cannot leave you with that monster on the field. If you can just that's keep popping cards. That's reasonable, except that I have this. No. My solemn judgment. <laughs> well done. I will pay my own life points to stop you. No. Blowback will be wreaking havoc. Bye, Breaker. All right, I have swords. I have blowback. What will you do now, Weevil? Hmm. <laughs> no. Right on cue. Is that a good or a bad laugh? It's a bad laugh. <laughs> uh, I can't attack just yet, so I'll switch giant right into defense, set another card face down, and I'll end there. All right, I need a little banded Keith Ooh, luck right here. Sword. This is my very slight banded Keith element. Yeah, look, when you put in that extra card that, you know, it's not go legal, normally, you know, you'd be like, oh, that's cheating. But then I had a, I have Bane of Keith in me, so I've respected it a little bit, you know? <laughs> so it was like, you know what? That's that's definitely how I would play. All right, let, let's roll a couple of, a couple of heads here. Well or done. Flip oh, okay. Winner, winner. That's a good hit. All right, we're going to start. This is probably not the monster I need to have in attack mode, but you know what? Choose wisely. What? All right. There, there, you have a lot of 2k defenders, so it's good. Okay. Oh, so oh no, wait, well. this is bad. <laughs> no. No, I'm in the, wait, I shouldn't attack with this. Because you have Cocoon. Uh -huh. He can't get over anything you said. I'm not I'm not attacking. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's let's do that. Do you have over a 1200 attacking monster? You probably have a giant rat somewhere. Probably said. Somewhere. Or in your hand. Hmm. I am going to. Flip some of my Sangan. Oh, you did have something I could have destroyed. Oh, I'm definitely looking at the right one, though. Oh, you're crashing. I'm okay. Crash them. Oh, it does nothing over 1200? The they blowback are in the deck. Was... I promise you. I just haven't drawn he them. He stays yet. alive. Okay, we're both going to get a search. Oh, wait, no. Who goes first? Is it me? Yeah, chain link too. Okay. What are you grabbing? I'm going to grab. I'll grab my Y Dragon Head. Yeah. And I will grab. There's no way you're getting a petite moth. No. <laughs> You'd be blowback, risking blowback every turn. <laughs> blowback is scary. I am actually kind of worried about that. I think I'll take a giant rat. Yeah, that's that's pretty reasonable. I'm trying to think if I can be clever here. Yeah, you got a few, probably got a few options over there. You definitely have the you definitely have the moth in your hand. <laughs> probably a petite moth too. This could be a petite moth that you just set. Could be. Could just be a rat. You know, just. Trying to bait that effect, probably. Ooh, that's somehow I've not drawn this at all. Okay, I have a feeling that this is a prickle fairy, and well done. I was a wrong, <laughs> Fatima. No, I was wrong. Okay, well, ah, well, this one is probably the giant rat, but you know what? Let's go for it. Let's see what it's gonna be. It is the rats. Okay, giant so I picked rat. the wrong one. All right, you'll be able to bring out something. Another giant rat. The rat returns for more. Okay, let's just do this. All right. Our life points are both a little low. Yeah. Thanks to solemn judgment. <laughs> I think this is risky, especially when you have a face down. My life points are higher. This is not how I wanted this to go, but <laughs> is it I'm going to mega morph. <laughs> <laughs> oh Your my god. Blowback dragon. Oh! And I'm hoping the big brain plays. That this is a successful. I think I need to keep my blowback on yes, the field. Yes, you do. Well done. <laughs> he needs to stay. He's, he's been pretty accurate over there. Since you've been so successful with blowback effects, I'm going to have to put all my face down down. So there's a little bit of. Uh... Uh... I'm lucky. That I'm just happy you haven't drawn ordeal again. I mean, that thing oh. was annoying. Okay, which right now it would restore my attack points, which wouldn't be the worst. Okay, we can't win because of your Megamorph. So, you know what? Let's just uh, 
Let's just try it. You gotta have something for this blowback, don't you? I could have used the effect. I didn't. I forgot. That's fine. Oh, it's your life points. I forgot to attack with my dragon. Head. Oh, <laughs> I thought that. Play. I'm gonna be completely honest. I forgot that as well. I got it all back oh, in my I head. I totally was. Yeah, I was thinking about my life points again. This is so confusing. Okay. <laughs> all right. Well, okay. I forgot to use the effect, and I attack with the wrong team or the wrong monster. But now I will use the effect. Let's try to. What are these face downs? I'll tell you if you get it right. Yes. Okay. All right. It would have mattered anyway. Okay. Wrong order of attack. That's fine. All right, I gave That's you a... one more, one more turn. You did. Thank you for that. This but Megamorph I gave you a big is monster. like look how huge that is now. <laughs> this thing has been kick. It's been shooting you in the foot a lot. Yeah. <laughs> it's been brutal. Is this my plan? Yeah. I don't know. Is it? <laughs> I'm gonna summon Prickle Fairy in attack. <gasps> Crazy, I know. Prickle Fairy in attack. Okay. Mm. What are you doing? Absolutely okay. everything has to go right this turn or else I've lost. <laughs> okay, well first I'm gonna try and hit this prickle fairy. Okay. Because it's sus. Oh you're going for the prickle fairy, okay. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna try to kill it. Wait, what? Oh, oh you guys chain. Me. No! Oh! <laughs> no! <laughs> is that the end of the is that the end no, of the No, it's game? not the end of the duel. Okay, but I'm it's very not the end upset. Of the duel? I had a plan. Okay. Not the end of the duel. What do you have? Mirror force. Mirror Force. Okay, there it is. A Prickle Fairy in attack. There goes Megamorph. What do you have an answer for this? My Call of the Haunted. Blowback Dragon, return in attack position. So, the plan with Prickle Fairy on the field, your monsters can't attack insects. I was going to use DNA Surgery, which is face down, to turn it into an insect. <laughs> so, you couldn't attack at all. That... Not my that life points! In fact. That would have worked, actually. I'll, I will turn your monster into insects, so at least I died by the very ants that are eating my kitchen right now. <laughs> <laughs> the ants are coming back to bite you in all aspects. Oh, uh, well done. Well, you had a tough task ahead of you. I, I mean, did. you did as well as you could have. I mean, honestly. It would have been nice if you had gotten that DNA surgery lock, you know, open or going once. That would have been cool. Yeah. I mean, the, the couple of other things I had in the deck, I had like a, a Gigantes to like have a little bit of power and at least I get rid of some back row that way, but yeah. never seemed to, to draw into it. Insect well, barrier. I made I made a I made a mistake. This morning I was we were I was getting ready, you know, we we're about to duel and I was thinking, I should just screwed up. This should have been anime deck versus anime deck <laughs> for TGS <laughs> anime. So maybe at some point we'll have to do that, you know, in another video or something like that. Anime because that would, ball. I'd be on it. Because I was like, this was a missed opportunity by me. Like we we did the normal wheel spin and stuff. I should have just look. You ended up spinning an anime deck. I should have just given myself an anime deck too. But you know what? There's always time for more videos. So maybe that will happen in the future. There has been a lot of anime requested decks in the comments. So uh, if you guys want to see that, let me know. Thank you for coming on, dude. That was super fun. No, thank you very much for the invite. Really enjoyed it. That was a lot of fun. And my first GOAT experience as well, even though I played one illegal card. Hey, look, only one illegal card. I mean, what is that? I mean, it's Yugi. I mean, your TGS anime. How often did they do that? Play one illegal card? I mean, that probably happens all the time. Like, it was like every single, every single duel, basically. So that made perfect sense. It fit the theme. Thank you for coming on. And uh, any last words before we go? Just subscribe to Rus Ruxin. This was absolute pleasure to be on. Thank you once again, everybody go check out his YouTube channel. I will have it linked down below. Appreciate you coming by and let us know if you want to see any, any anime duels in the future. Maybe, uh, he'll have to, you know, I'll take the Pequeno Moth deck for my, you know, my own, my own love of the Petite Moth and you can have like, you know, some other anime deck or something. So let us know in the comments. Thank you guys for coming out to this awesome video. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Bye everyone. Shout out to Tom Fo Show and Nestor Diana, America Doyster, Brandon Cheney, Hextick, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F, and Changalang. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.